Today we are off to go snorkeling. Although I'm really sorry to say there's sadly no beach and no tropical fish to look at. Instead, we are here to work on our swimming technique. And we're gonna be using this swimming specific snorkel to help improve your front crawl stroke. So I'm gonna be covering exactly what one of these is and how and when you should use one. you will have noticed that the setting is quite different to it being on holiday well the snorkel is as well this isn't your standard one that you would see that goes around the side of your head instead this is designed to be able to swim with so the main difference being the position in which you wear it so it starts obviously in your mouth but then goes straight up your midline over your forehead and the back of your head and it's got a slight curve so it doesn't go straight up it actually curves around to enable you to be able to swim with it and then it's attached obviously through the mouthpiece but then also this piece which actually sits on your forehead and the strap goes around the back of your head just like it would a goggle strap. Now there are various snorkels on the market but you don't need anything too fancy just make sure that it's a swimming specific snorkel. You can get fancy ones with two tubes going out either side but anything that's in a similar shape to this will do the job perfectly fine and then to wear it you'll need to put your hat and goggles on first as normal and I'd recommend putting your goggles actually on your eyes first and then you fix this over the top with a strap going over the top of your goggles. I just want to emphasize that this is purely a training tool, so it's designed to help with your swim technique and for you to work on certain aspects of your stroke. And in particular, it's really good at helping to balance out that stroke and find that perfect head position as well as obviously focusing on drills. And we've talked about the snorkel in several of our swim videos in the past and certainly will do in the future. So if you want to make sure you catch all of those, then just hit the subscribe button now and you'll get all of our videos at GTN. Now, when people are learning front crawl, one of the hardest aspects is coordinating, turning the head to breathe. Now when you're using a snorkel that obviously eliminates that necessity to move your head at the time so you can then really focus on other aspects and start to progress your swim technique so then you can come back to incorporating the breathing later on. Turning your head too far to breathe is a really common problem and one that actually has several knock-on effects. It can cause things such as snaking through the water, overreaching, sinking hips and so on. And yes, I know this is only a training device and you can't race with it, but if you can perfect that position now, hopefully with the snorkel, that once you remove it, you'll at least start to be able to get the right feeling for it. And also when you swim, if you only breathe on one side, you might actually find that you've got an uneven stroke without even realizing it. So the snorkel should help you to identify that and then also to be able to work to correct it. Sticking with the head, a snorkel will also help to keep it still, but also to perfect the position in the water. And it's really common to see a head position too high in the water, partly due to that feeling of needing to get air. But once you've got used to wearing this, then the ability to continuously breathe will cause you to relax and find a more neutral head position where you can look just in front of you, down at the pool a couple of meters ahead, instead of at the far end of the pool. And this will then naturally help you to bring your hips up. And if you have your head too far up at the extreme, then you'll find that the other end of the snorkel gets a little bit too close to the water as well. Another advantage of the snorkel is being able to keep your face in the water. You can actually see part of the pool face as it goes underneath you and that all helps with general feedback. And then when it comes to kick sets, you can pop the snorkel on. If you're using a kickboard with your arms extended out in front of you, well that allows you to get that better body position and not to put any strain on your head. And then finally, drills that we've already mentioned, things such as six kicks, one pull, doggy paddle drill, single arm drill, all just eliminates that need to move your head. You might be starting to think that I am trying to sell the snorkel to you. Well, I promise you, I'm not. It really is a training aid and therefore it shouldn't be used for all of every session. So take that technique and make sure you practice it back in your normal stroke. If you're new to using this type of snorkel, well, it might take a little bit of getting used to. And I know I certainly had to really work on remembering not to turn my head because it does become so ingrained. But the more still you can keep your head, the less you're actually going to notice the snorkel being there. So if you work on that, you will become more used to it. And I've already mentioned pushing off the wall. So when you do start to wear a snorkel, it's a good idea to just push off with a little less force so it won't dislodge it until you've got really used to it. 
and then it's time to regress to the tumble turn or flip turn, something which I still struggle with because obviously as you go under the water, the snorkel's going to get water in it. So you've got two options here. You can either, whilst you're doing your tumble turn, continually breathe out so that no water can actually get into the tube and then once you're on the surface, it'll be clear for you to take a breath or you hold your breath for the whole duration that you're going around and once you're back on the surface, you give an explosive breath out which should clear the pipe and then you can take another breath as normal. Anyway, I'd suggest just having a play around with it to start with until you get comfortable with it and then you can start to focus on those specific areas of your stroke that need some work. And it's a good piece of kit just to keep in your kit bag and even if the session doesn't require it, you can pop it on at the end and maybe focus on some drills and you'll start to see those benefits. Well, hopefully you found this interesting and enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button if you have. And if you want to subscribe to GTM, then just click on that globe that we mentioned earlier. And for some more swimming videos, we've got one when we look specifically at breathing. We can find that just down here. And if you want one on body position, well, there's one just here.